right out of the Big West Conference. Baylor Shireman lets it go from three and knocks it down. 6-11, getting his first start of the season against the seven-footer, Ryan Kalkbrenner. Shireman again, which is the ability to shoot the three. A couple of good ball fakes. Those aren't easy three. Blue Jays feeling it from distance. Yeah, that's a big... Here. Has scored over 90 points in each of their last two games. 20-point wins over Holy Cross. A lot of respect for Mike McPio and the program that he is building here at Riverside. Obrich percent from three in their last two games. That's why it's something to keep an eye on. Made points per game, three-point percentage is the big one. He put in a lot of work in the against the preseason all Big West player. Tattersall running hook shot. Picked that up at the YMCA the other day. <laughs> He's kind of got that kind of game. There it is again, and just worried about a player. Brenner. That's a three. Is just remarkable. Ten for ten the other night against Holy Cross. Owens a three. And that is Montana transfer. Ten and a half points per game off the bench to the first Montana. But the year before that, Nick, he was an all big sky type of player. The silky pull up points of the game for UCR in their come from behind win against Loyola Marymount. Coloma knocks in a triple. Alexander through contact. Right. Riverside two of six from downtown after a couple of early makes. Alexander creating space over the last couple of minutes. Already has one block, has altered a couple more. Alexander continue. Double team on Kalkbrenner. Shireman. Pull up three. And it's a rejection. Trey Alexander back the other way. No look pass. Kalkbrenner finishes it. Has one tonight. UCR on a five minute scoring drought. With Ulbrich all over him. Out to Shireman, find a shoot. Stop, starts, lays it off the way. Schools that were recruiting him when he transferred. Duke, Kentucky, Arizona, Gonzaga among them. And here he is on his backdoor pass. The tempo. Here's Pullen, double team. Ulbrich, step through. And a nice move with a rack. Kaluma. Zips it to Alexander on the drive. Good defense from Olbrich. Alexander stays with it. And here comes R2 with the ball. Flips to Kaluma. No, and Kalkbrenner there to clean it up. 6.25. Midway through the first half. Hartwell. Nifty shot hanging in the air. Hartwell off the bench. It's been good. Kaluma from straight. Good for a guy who missed the last two months of the season last year. I think his body looks better. Good pass to Farabello. Luma thought about it. And now hands it off. Ryder and King with the two hand from Kaluma. Tolan on the blow by his first. What a move by Olbrich. And then, of course. The Texas game against Gonzaga, where they just blew the that level of basketball for years. So it is for real from here on out. Tattersall King at the line to complete a three-point play. Nick, you talked about it. He's only been playing organized basketball since he was mold the ball of clay from scratch. And man, is he good. Ooh. Kaluma with the wiggle. Shakes free the defense. So many guys that can score and beat you. It's hard to pick just one. Damn hard, the reigning freshman of the year. Cooper with a one-hand jam. And he forces another UC Riverside timeout. A 10-0 run. 30 pounds. We're talking to Gregory Durbin since his freshman year. Speaking of freshmen, Roderick King. High character individual. And he's spinning to the rim. Almost a ridiculous. So you get into a game and it's a little bit easier than it is in practice. <laughs>
talks about his defense. Yeah. Okay. That, that's what he, he, he may be small in stature. He kind of reminds me of Aaron Thompson at a Butler team in steals. And that's what he does is he puts his fingerprints on this thing defensively. Tonight for the Blue Jays and Nick. Well, this team struggled in the first game against St. Thomas out of the Summit League. Eventually, it's hard to find much to be upset with if you're Greg McDermott with your team over the course of the last three games. Okay, now I'm getting runner in the back end. You, you, it'll make you a little lazy and got to do a better job defending the ball, keeping it out of the... They have held Riverside to say they've locked down this team that, frankly, has looked pretty good. They played a tough game at Colorado, Ohio with three returning starters, six newcomers. Feels like his team department. It could be challenging. You can have the good days like you had at Loyola Marymount and the rough ones like tonight here at Creighton. Guard. And he's got to hang in there. Tough to sit on the bench for 38 minutes, 37 minutes. Come, he's going to come. Stoltzberg has got the ability to make something happen in a big game. Xander Yates. 54 left on the clock in this half. Mitchell turns the corner and lays it in. Hugs and Drew Timmy and company. He's a really, really experienced good player to bring off the bench for Greg McDermott. Again, between Mitchell, got a four year player coming off the bench that's played in the NCAA tournament. Experienced dudes that have played in big games. And then the guys who were freshmen last year. Trial by fire, recent memory, almost beat eventual national champion Kansas with six men. They're all back this year. Impressive. You're able to get that continuity that's hard to get. Talent as well. And then he, and he chooses to come home. Up to Stoltzberg. And lays in the reverse. The Maui Invitational. They leave tomorrow. And they have a date with a top 25 Texas Tech team right out of the gate. And then after that, take one game at a time. <laughs> All those teams are really, really good. And it's going to be fun to see what Creighton can do with Sammy on 12 battle in early December. Rivalry game against Nebraska here in Omaha. The tournament you're doing out in Vegas. Yep. Accomplished not only tonight, but in these four games. And I think Greg McDermott feels pretty good about the progress his team's made over the course of the first couple weeks of the season. Creighton gets a big win in their final home game before they head out to Maui for the Maui Invitational. Did a lot on the floor. He was able to distribute. I love how he got into the paint and thought about making plays for a teammate. For the sophomore. As you get a look at our final stats tonight. And again, Creighton shooting over 50% prior two games, which were both big wins as well. Blue Jays win it. They advance to 4-0 and they head out.